First of all, a big thank you to everyone that supported the drop. These are some of the orders from day one. We completely sold out of the crumple totes, which is really exciting. First tech pack document that was created for the totes was June of 2022. So it's been a long time coming and just really glad that you guys were excited as much as I was. Another batch is already in the works, so that should be out quite soon. And yeah, just feeling very grateful, you know, to be able to pack orders in this like, beautiful studio, even just like thinking about how far we've come in the past like two years, um, it's just wild. So thank you guys. So this week's gonna be a little bit hectic because at the end of the week, we are heading off to New York. We are going for a very, very long time. So we have a lot to wrap up and just kind of get things ready. I'll talk more about the New York trip in a little bit, but yeah, lots to do. <laughs> going back to black. Uh, the red's been fun. The red kind of faded into more of a copper and it's just very, you know, outgrown. Plus now that we'll be living in a new city, new hair, new city, new me. Gloves, a little chemistry. Pretty much a pro at this point. Oh, okay. The best part of dyeing shorter hair is that I just use it like a shampoo, like that. So yeah, about our mini move. It's not really a move, we're just, Staying in New York for just over a month, which sounds crazy to say because it's something I've always wanted to do. You guys have seen the travel vlogs. Um, I love New York. I love the romanticization of it. I love all the people, the networking, the opportunities, the friends in New York. I love it. Every time I visit New York, it's only for like two to three days and I feel like those days are so hectic, you know, we're doing a lot of like the touristy activities because, you know, that's what we're there for. But I've always wanted to just, you know, slow down as much as I can in New York and just, you know, have like a nice little routine, find a gym, explore like coffee shops and thrift, just like more of like the local businesses. So I've always been interested in, you know, staying for an extended amount of time and I was just never too sure when that would actually happen because, you know, my shitty and Alice is so busy here and now that cow dog is opening up in January, which is Ryan and I's coffee shop. I thought this would be like the perfect uh, chance to do it. Once cow dogs open, it'll be pretty hectic for the next little bit and we're not really too sure when we'd be able to take like an extended amount of time off. Jasper will be going back to my parents, so we're flying into Alberta first. If you guys have stuck around for a while, Jasper was actually the family dog and I ended up taking him with me. Actually, my parents told me to take him with me because they thought I'd be lonely when I moved to Vancouver. My parents are very excited that Jasper's coming back, especially my dad. Um, so Jasper will have a great time. My parents have a nice little backyard that he can run around. Jasper loves the snow, so it'll be really good for him. Plus, I think it'd just be a bit too much for him to actually fly all the way to New York um, because he does have to fly with cargo. Um, but yeah, we're going to New York for a month. A whole fucking month. Holy shit. But obviously before that happens, I need to make sure, you know, the systems are set in place so that I'm actually able to peace out for a bit. Um, this will be the first time I am leaving like my businesses here 
without me, like completely hands off. Well, I won't be hands off, I'll be remote, but you know what I mean. But yeah, tomorrow's like a really big final work day for my team. Um, just making sure everything's on track, finish off the year as well as start next year. Um, but yeah, it's happening. This is something I've wanted to do for so, so long. Um, and I don't think it's really hit me yet because I still have so much work to wrap up, but I am genuinely so excited and I'm excited that Ryan's able to do this with me. This is also a really good chance for him to finally take a bit of time off as well, especially because he was really busy switching from cooking to coffee and then doing our cowdog pop-ups and then going back into cooking for a little bit until cowdog fully opens so it's it's been really busy for him and, and he's just been very helpful with all of my work as well and yeah we're just both really excited if you guys have any new york recommendations um let me know i think it might be cool to do like a little like a i don't know like a pop-up maybe probably not this trip but eventually that's that's the goal and here we are folks, with jet black hair, which was very much an impulsive decision. I love it, it looks and feels healthier. I put a bit of blush on, but I feel like it makes the blush pop even more because the hair is so black. I also just realized the past three videos, there's been major, major hair changes. Like the previous one, we bleached Ryan's hair. And I think the one before that, I cut my hair. And I think the one before that, I dyed my hair red. So we're we're going through a lot of, it's a, it's a big transitional period, I guess. Tomorrow is a big day at work, so I'm gonna prepare for that in the evening. I have an event to head to. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Folks, are you ready? Very ready. <laughs> Very ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, this is happening like we're packing. For a month. How do you even pack for a month? And it's gonna be cold. Apparently it's very dry there. So uh yeah. I guess I guess we just start. What do we start with? Awesome. Quick look at all of the PR that I'm bringing for my mom. She absolutely refuses to spend any money on like cosmetics, but she also like hoards whatever she has. So like last time I visited, she had like the original Naked palette, which was like five, ten years old, which is very much expired. So every time I go, I kind of refresh her skincare and makeup. Here's all the goodies from the MAC event last night. Like full lipstick set, like literally everything. So big thank you MAC, as well as all of the other brands. But I also know for a fact that she's going to be gifting a lot of the gifts that I'm gonna gift her, which is why I'm gonna be gifting my mom some gently used products as well, because she's not gonna be able to give those. Things that I've tried for videos or swatches. Just making sure everything is sealed. Nothing leaking. She's gonna love this Chanel blush. So soft, so nice. We got a bunch of the Ilia like mini sticks. So these are just the gifts for my mom and her friends, uh, which takes up quite a bit of room. So we'll we'll see how much we can actually get. Western belts, of course. But yeah, we're just gonna keep on packing. We fly out to Alberta tomorrow to go drop off the dog at my parents' place. And then it's happening. 
New York. I'm hopefully gonna stage at some like bakeries and some cafes. Stage means like volunteer, get work experience, not paid. And then I'm also gonna play some basketball, go to the gym. Mm -hmm. There's a cool basketball like fitness thing yeah. in New York that I'm excited to do. I think it'll be cool for you to see like the New York coffee scene, but actually mm -hmm. like work in it or volunteer in it and just see how it operates. I'm assuming it's quite similar, but I feel like, I don't know, it'll still yeah. be good, especially just before we open Cowdog as well. Yeah, a lot of my time is gonna be like yeah. focused on like preparing as well and mm -hmm. like reading books and kind of like getting to know the industry a little bit more and like what works, what doesn't. Jasper, are you ready to go run around in the snow? Are you ready to go back to Alberta? How about some tummy rubs? How about some tummy rubs? Come on! How about some tummy rubs? Oh, there we go! But yeah, I guess we'll see y'all tomorrow at the airport.